Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch, man. Hey everybody, it's Chris, your blues guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Cheers. So how's it going, eh? What's happening, baby? Uh, thanks for tuning in, joining me here today. Uh, this is my goose egg for record store day video. Hmm. Kind of like the last record store day where... No, no, not the last one. The one before that. I don't know. I lose track because I get skunked quite often. Uh, there's quite a few record stores within a 15, 20 minute walk from my place. So it's not tough for me to do the loop and I hit three places. So, you know, I go to one place, they maybe don't have what I'm looking for. I can mosey on down to the next place. The problem is I had to work Saturday. It's kind of the same old song with me. I have to work Saturdays. Record store days usually Saturday. So I kind of go in and on, on a Sunday or even the following Monday and try to cherry pick whatever's left over. Sometimes I have luck, like with that Ray Charles, the big mom in Thornton, and other stuff and past record stories. Uh, this time, goose, goose egg. Uh, that's not to say I didn't find anything, but I hit two out of my three usual spots that, like I said, are real close. Didn't really see anything. I was looking for the Almond Brothers. I think there was an Almond Brothers three record set that was going to be issued. There was supposed to be another Ray Charles, and I think there was supposed to be a Rory Gallagher. Gallagher? Gallagher? Uh, that one I'm not sure on, but I, I thought I remembered hearing something about a Rory Gallagher. Anyways, nothing. Nothing. Bubkiss. But that's not to say I didn't find some great records. I, I did. I hit Heritage Posters and Music, and I hit Blackbird Music. Like I said, no record store day picks. Nothing that I was really, you know, chomping at the bit to pick up anyway. But that said, I did find some great stuff. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing here, shall we? Mm hmm? Aha. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cheers. It was really nice, actually. All that snow that I had in my previous video, within two days, it all melted. Uh, went way above zero Celsius into the sort of low to mid-teens Celsius. So that's, you know, in the high 50s, low 60s Fahrenheit. So, yeah, way, way better. Uh, anyway, blah, 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 blah. What's playing in the background? Uh, this is Lightning Slim Rooster Blues. Excellent. Uh, you've got uh, Lazy Lester on harmonica. And Slim on vocals, guitar. This is really great. I was eyeing this for quite a while. I finally pulled the trigger on it. Glad I, glad I did. It sounds fantastic. It's all those XLO hits or singles. Yeah, very laid back, sort of Chicago blues. Uh, yeah, really, really great. Lightning Slim. So, uh, the first few that I picked up were at uh, Blackbird Music. And then Heritage, before I got home, I made my way home. So the first one is a band called Flood. These guys are a Canadian band from the 70s. They started in 70 or 71. And they're kind of at uh, the tail end of psych, getting into sort of acid rock. They experiment with all kinds of crazy sounds, some uh, bluegrass sounds, some bluesy influences, some sort of folky flavorings as well. Yeah, this is Flood, and this is their debut album, Flood. Um, it's got the year on it. I don't remember seeing the year on this, but I'm pretty sure that it was 70 or 71. Anyways, it's on that Warner uh, Avocado Green label. But yeah, Turn to 21 is, was kind of a big hit off of this, as well as Sailing On and... Uh, Mama's Boy as well. So yeah, a great five-piece band out of Canada. Blood. Picked that up for ten bucks. This is my second or third? Second. Second Flood album that I picked up. Great band. If you're not familiar with them, check them out. Uh, next up, a couple of Rolling Stones compilations. Uh, first one is the Rolling Stones Now 
on the London label. This is a Canadian pressing on London. And, uh, this one I picked up for five Canadian doll hairs. Um, a little bit of surface noise and one little scratch on it. So, you know, for five bucks, it's at least for now a good placeholder until I can find a really, really clean copy. But that one's, I mean, sounds pretty good. Just a little bit of surface noise where that one scratch is. But, you know, I cleaned it once. Maybe a second cleaning will help. I don't know. I'll give it a shot. Now, the second one's another Stones comp. This one was also five dull hairs. Uh, this is Big Hits, High Tide, and Green Grass, The Rolling Stones. Again, Canadian pressing on this one. Also on that London label. This one, same kind of story. No scratches on it, just, uh, you know, they're old, right? So a lot of surface noise. Probably will require multiple cleanings. Cleaned once, maybe two or three, before it, you know, really becomes noticeably better or improved. But, you know, for $5 each, why not? Uh, another Rolling Stones comp. This one I picked up for twelve dollars. This one's in really, really nice shape. This is Metamorphosis. Just a hole punch. Is really the only issue cover-wise. And this is um, a label that I've never seen before. It's uh, Abco. A B K C O. I don't know. Nineteen seventy-five. It says it's a division of BMI, so I, I don't know. You let me know down in the comments if you've ever seen that label before. But yeah, that's it. I don't know, maybe it's some wacky import from somewhere. Nope, it says New York, distributed by London Records in Canada, so okay, whatever. I don't know. But be that as it may, it sounds really good. A very nice compilation, Metamorphosis, Rolling Stones. Uh, last one from Blackbird. Now this one also twelve dollars. This is Steve Miller Band, The Joker. And I didn't believe it or not, I didn't have this one. This one's in pretty nice shape, a little ring wear on the back of it, more so than on the front for some reason. Kind of weird. Um, let's get gatefold on it. And yeah, believe it or not, I didn't have this one. I've got, you know, like seven Steve Miller albums. It's on the Capitol label. I don't know if I was just looking for a nice copy for a fair price. I don't know. But uh, I've got one now. And, I mean, it's, you know, title track, The Joker. But um, your cash ain't nothing but trash is also great. Uh, Come on in my kitchen covers Robert Johnson. Uh, very, very good. And his cover of Hallow Wolf's Evil, very good as well. So yeah, Steve Miller. Uh, and lastly, this one from Heritage Posters and Music. And basically, I bought this one and I got out of there because this one kind of blew the budget. But it was kind of a white whale because I had an OG of Volume 1 and Volume 3 and I was missing Volume 2. So when I saw it, and it's still in the shrink too, and it has the remnants of the original price sticker on it too. The only problem is that uh, Jerry at Heritage, he wrote in Sharpie across the original shrink, original press. But anyways, it's Chicago the Blues today. Uh, as I said, volume two, this one spotlights James Cotton, Otis Rush, and Homesick James. But the nice thing about uh, the James Cotton Blues Quartet is Otis Spann is playing with him, as well as S.P. Leary on drums. Otis Rush Band has got Luther Tucker on guitar and uh, Willie Lyon on drums. And the homesick James has got Willie Dixon on bass. So yeah, I don't know how to get rid of Sharpie off of cellophane, but I'd like to keep it in the original shrink and just take this price sticker off. There's the remnants from the original. So if you know, let me know. I don't know, nail polish remover or goo gone, maybe? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'd, I'd like to get rid of it. Anyways, it's on Vanguard. 
And it's a great series because um, they're studio recordings, uh, but it has sort of that Chicago Blues Club sort of feel to it. Um, all of them, all three of them do. And, uh, you know, it's Vanguard, so the recordings are excellent. They get right in there, whoever set up the mics and whoever did the sound engineering on it did an excellent job because it feels, again, sort of intimate or like you're at some greasy, sweaty, scary ass Chicago Blues Club in the South Side, you know, in the 70s, man. So, yeah, very, very cool. Very happy to get that. But, like I said, it blew the bank because 40 Canadian dollars there. Hmm, hmm. Uh, I got to. I got twitching, so I had to get out of there real quick. But I was really happy with those. Um, uh, even though Goose got the goose egg for, for Record Store Day, uh, not really frustrated or upset in the slightest. It's kind of the uh, same old story for me. So, you know, I, I didn't shed a tear because I was able to get some retail therapy with, uh, you know, some great stone stuff. Steve Miller, Chicago the Blues today, kind of that white whale to finish off that series. So, yeah, I'm very happy. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it here today for your blues guy. Let me know what you think down below. Again, with it, if you know how to get rid of Sharpie, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, most importantly, keep digging, keep bud digging. I don't know what that means. Keep digging, keep spinning. And uh, until the next one, take care. All right, have a good one. Cheers.